Okay, we just wanted to do a little uh, walkthrough video in case anyone was curious. About, about Andy. About Andy. About and Andy. our car, which is named Howie. Just if you want to see what one of these things looks like, um, yeah, let's do the inside. So we got a little doorbell, we've got the code here if we need it. We got a deadbolt, and let's go in. Let's do a couple of things. These, this is really cool. You've got the um, storage for shoes here. Or whatever you want to put in there. Or whatever you want to put in there. Some people put wine in there. A little, uh, this unlocks the lockers. A nice view of the deer. Okay, we've got our, our captain's chair, which actually swivels round. So it can be, this one swivels round too. This thing, into too much detail. This comes up, which is pretty cool if you want to watch TV. In the televator. So we've got this televator thing. Just have to make sure it's clear. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So you've got your TV there. The speaker, and then the satellite receiver, which we don't use because it's kind of crappy. And we never, um, so we canceled it. But just quickly up here, you've got satellite dish, which you don't use, my internet router connected to an antenna on the roof, it's really powerful. These are all the electrical components for, you know, um, this is. This is all electricity and for the inverter, which converts DC to AC power. We got an instant heat um, heating system here. And this is the power for the AC. This is for TV. This is for awnings outside, which I can show you later. I don't want to get into too much no. detail, but we have these mini awnings, which is really cool. And this is power stuff, lighting, this, I'll show you this because it's cool. And you've got your oh, so living hot. room AC, which we're going to turn down. Yeah. It's really hot. Oh, look at, oh, look at the deer. Oh my God, there's so many. To eat. And then we've got bedroom. We're going to turn that down a bit. And then the other thing that we can do. Okay, but put it up. because Is put the shade here. down to keep the heat out. Show us around. There used to be a chair like that. Well, two things. One is this came installed like with this at the shop with these cup holders here and there were no drawers. So I thought cup holders are silly. So because we're in your home, you don't need cup holders. So I had these custom made into drawers, which have been super helpful. Um, and then there was another chair here, but I wanted to have my Peloton in here. She got on a little mat. Um, this chair is a little recliner, so you got this, and then it actually reclines back, yeah. which is also pretty cool. So to watch TV, like one of us, it's the cuddle yeah. factor, we're not cuddling very much because, you know, that's hard to do. But I really wanted the Peloton, so that's what we have. Some people have a couch here, but this is... A game changer and just I just want to say the peloton what we do is we just move it across this is this is a slide this is a slide you know this slides out so I can show you that later but the peloton goes onto the slide so when we're bringing the slide in it's easy and it just stays in its place and you have to make sure that when you put it in like you have it here so obviously you don't hit your head which is something we didn't think about before we actually have I don't think many vehicle. people have Pelotons. In these if you want to have any exercise equipment, in here we put all our exercise equipment um, because we're really into fitness. And then this is... Was also a game changer. Vacuum Everyone knows how that works. But I love it. Jeremy vacuums. There, there is actually an inbuilt vacuum cleaner down here. Um, but it's it's kind of it's kind of a hassle to use. Um, this thing I can just grab one or two or three times a day and just go around and vacuum. Because we have pets, so we use it a lot. And then this, what I love in the kitchen, which is why I bought this, why we like this one, is whoops, this comes out. So when you're if you are a cook, 
this down. If you're a cook, this is like amazing because this has so much counter space. And then um, these are our vitamins. <laughs> and then this is an induction yeah. stove, which is amazing. It works so great. And it's, it, yeah, it seems like it it wouldn't, but it's actually we get these. We have to buy. You have to buy the right pots. But they're and pans, so great. Like you but just. But it, it does work very yeah. well. And there are these induction nesting pans, which we found online, which are also super cool. And um, usually it looks a little bit nicer, but so those work great. And then we chose to have a dishwasher. Let's put, how do you put this back in? Which we use multiple times. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. We use it every day. Yeah. But it actually is. We think it's well worth having. Yeah, Seven because because space. when we were in another vehicle, we had to wash the dishes and they were sitting out, and so this just keeps the counter space clean. We put our. We, what do we got up? This is supposed to be spices, but. Yeah, yeah. We put glasses up here. Um, underneath, this is a double sink. We use this kind of a first storage yeah. area. What's, we, what's this? We So we heard online that this oven isn't a great oven. It's a great microwave, but it's not a great oven. So I was uh, referred to this Breville, and it's an air fryer. It bakes, it roasts, it toasts. I sound like a commercial, but honestly, it's small, and it's got a pizza. It's We've used it a lot, and it is just like an oven. Um and then we have all of our little... Yeah, what do we got here? Okay, just quickly. Just sponges. Self-explanatory. We got the little mini recycling garbage. This thing is really great, I just have to say. Uh, Worth it. It fits in here. I got this at um, one of those fancy cooking stores, but it's really great for because you're cooking outside a lot when you are camping. And so this is for serving, this is for your meat, and it just fits right in here perfectly. And I'm also using one of these really easy cutting boards because it takes up hardly any space. And then I have like my wooden serving things in there. Yeah. What do we What do we got here? Um. So we, yeah, we got a we got a fan here, um, which is up and see. It's like an extractor fan. And then you've got your overhead lights, kitchen lights backlight which just turns off this panel which is great in the bedroom and then the water pump so there's a there's a water pump um, sometimes at campsites you get enough water pressure you don't need to use it but most of the time you're going to need to use that um, more lights up here in these oh, yeah, what, i mean these we just use these bins just storage, yeah. from uh like the container store i think and so i have my office stuff jeremy has some equipment where do you put the um, the controller for the blinds? You put that. It's right here, where it goes. Okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, let me just show you. This is kind of cool. Um, although it's scary because if it ever breaks, I'm kind of screwed. But so this company MCD, and this is pre-programmed for all the blinds in the RV. So we've got this one, and then you just scroll through dining. And you've got a night shade, but you've also got a day shade. As you can see, it's coming down now. Cat food, and here's some more office supplies. These are backup cat food. Cat food cat goes food, in here. Cat food. Um, this is like a hold all, I'm not going to open it. Um, this is my crap. This is like a filing cabinet. Office yeah. supplies. And then down here is some stuff for work, cookbooks. It's the yeah, vacuum. It's... So we're using the second bathroom for, well, me, but also the cats. So I've got, I've got the litter box in here. This litter box, by the way, is actually pretty cool. It's got the big pellets, see what it's called. And then you've got a little drawer in there for the pads. They're and it just makes sure that this stuff doesn't go everywhere and the diaper genie for the litter is really great yeah it's got a full size residential sort of fridge one little tip if you're watching this and i don't know you uh someone who rv'd before told us to get these little 
containers for your and things like that and that way when you open it after you're driving stuff doesn't come tumbling out but it's also i'll show you in that regard it's got a lock on it and you, well yeah <laughs> you have to use that when you're driving freezer it's, it's like a regular yep and then this is the pantry which holds way more than i thought it would they pull out really far yeah, you push them in and they pull out yep so i'm anal so well, like if you're a cook i think this is important because most people don't but like it has you know i can cook anything i can cook in my house my sticks and bricks as they say let's just check this out because when when i was looking at rvs when we were looking i did want some detail and that may be a bit tedious but yeah this is kind of my stuff base that is not storage space, really. This, you would well, think. no, no. Uh, don't get down the toilet. This is obviously all the fuses. And you've got a control panel um, for the breaker switches. This is the skylight. Now, you can get these. This is $10, and it basically, a lot of heat comes through here. So I use this to sort of block it up when we're in hot areas. Okay. Here, here's a fun fact, people. I never saw this on any RV video I watched. But you should know before you buy. Yeah. There's, it's there's not a, a real door. There's a gap here. <laughs> and our cat Fergus gets under this thing. So Jeremy fashioned this thing. Not this thing. one because he's too fat, but the other, one, the other one can do it. Literally. So I found this at Home Depot. And it's kind of, all this is, is too sort of wedges and I just taped it together and it fits and, perfectly yeah it fits under there and it's a total and I put a weight belt on there and it kind of it's stops the cat coming in and it's a total pain in the ass and I had no idea when I bought this that this whole door we also upgraded this to a solid wood door yeah. so it would be more quiet but ha 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 on us but everything moves like this yeah. whole bedroom and you'll see like this whole thing moves in and yeah. becomes a very compact space so like this door too has the same thing you just you have no choice um, these are wardrobes this is my stuff i took all my winter stuff it's under the bed in a compression jeremy's in that's kind of a mess he gets well, it looks yeah. very good he gets one i don't wear any of that i just wear the same thing every day so. yeah so here's some drawers this one oh i'm using well, this it, one's yeah. kind of got some of the technical and also i put my TV. office stuff in there and then wait we gotta do, what do you have so you got oh got your little cupboard by the bed with a charging port and then this is kind of cool you've got backlight and you can control reading lights accent lights you can turn all the lights off in the entire rv which i probably shouldn't have done and um yeah it's cool as you got this you got a little window, get some fresh air in. What do you think about that, Simon? Okay. The, is this RV came... Let's just lift this up. Sure. Okay, but wait, hold on. This, okay. There's some storage under there. Sure. It holds a lot. So we get quite a lot in there, as well as uh, spare chairs. Okay, let's pop this down. Yeah. It's easy to lift up, you don't need to be strong. Uh, it came with some really unattractive bedding. That's all that's left. I hope to get um, that. Uh, there's not a lot of space to make your bed, but there's enough. And those nightstands are bigger. King, it's a king size it's bed. It's a king bed. But the nightstand is bigger than the one we had in the other vehicle we had. And then here is in the... This is a... Let's turn on, turn on all the lights. They are. But the... Um, yeah, all of them. This is the washer and dryer, which we have used. We have a technical issue with the dryer, which is yeah. super frustrating. We've got, we just put like um, beach towels there. Uh, silly little thing, but it's been a game winner is we just got camping towels. We only have one real towel and honestly, these are awesome. Yeah, and I just cleaned this. I know and it's already dirty. But this, okay, so this is really cool. Um, you got this thing called the Aquamizer. So you turn that on, see that blue light? 
And then it turns red. You turn this. And it, what it does is it basically recycles the water, like it pumps it through. So instead of like having the shower going while you're waiting for it to get hot, you just do this and it, and it, and it gets hot before you go in. So then you'll just turn this over and you can kind of start the shower running and that will probably turn red in a second. Yeah, see, it's red. So this is like piping hot water. It's a great shower. It's a great shower. It's a regular shower. Turn that off. Make sure that's got to make sure that's back there. Otherwise, the water will come out of the RV. So turn that off. Yeah, a little bench. Um, I'll show you the toilet system. What the hell? Like, <laughs> so this will clear the water from it, and then you kind of fill it back up. But and I'm going to do this for the hell of it. You hold this down. Using so you can see how that light flashes and then you're changing the setting on it so all that does is basically pumps water into it for the next flush so you I have like these two flush settings like you want to leave it on that yeah, I like it. all right this is um just storage this is storage note to self it's a diesel so it gets really hot back yeah, it gets, here it gets crazy so i hot. have destroyed some the products en the engine is down here there's, but, but there's here, so, I mean, I literally don't have enough well, spot. This. Yeah. This is, there's this so is much room. Good. Yeah, there's so much room. Oh, that focuses. Yeah, this so is, this is, this is kind of huge. We've got all like backup jackets and then there's like a whole area yeah, down let there. Me show, um, I also would like to just say, I bought these at the container store. So for my shoes, there's some people who literally wear t-shirts and shorts every day, but I like clothes. So I was very worried. And I was able to narrow it down. And then I got also these little bags at the container store. And so I have my cute shoes. So if you're watching this and you actually care about fashion and things, you can do it. All and right, then... bye, bye Fergus. <laughs> he find, the cat finds little holes everywhere. Yeah. He likes that one. More, just there's a lot of space, a lot more than I realized with space. This thing is insane, and it goes all the way back there, so it's got like backup, yeah, backup stuff it's in there. Yes, yeah, more. Just more drawers. There's a lot of space back here. It's the shade. Obviously, all these windows open. You know, you can let some fresh air in. This, this is um, this whole panel is a fire escape, so this will come off, and you just kick it out, and you can you can jump out there if you want to. If you want to. If you need to get out for a fire or another reason if you're cornered that's our rv this is our house is that it that's it man these these shades we got here i guess that's it maybe um this goes let's in let's check the outside you can do that solo i'm gonna do a little bit of the outside okay let's go outside all right let's do some of this though so i really want to watch the deer low key so i'm gonna all right that. Let's do some of this. Let's spin this around. Oh. Yeah, I'm here for the nature. Okay. This is the leveling system, which is not operational currently. So you've got your auto level when you arrive, and it works beautifully. Um, there are various opinions about when to do the leveling. Um, but as long as you're on relatively level ground, Numar says to put the slides out and then level. So we put the slides in and we level, but you can adjust everything. Um, this is obviously just the driving, which is, which is automatic. It's a diesel. Um, I'm not super technical, but yeah, you can control. On hills, it will it'll work nicely automatically, but you can control it if you need to. The great thing is here, you've got this engine brake, which you can turn on. I leave it on all the time. I have it on low. And believe me, you do not want to be relying on the brakes when you're going downhill. So the engine brake will literally brake using the engine. Very powerful, absolutely necessary. Forgot that it was there and was using the regular brakes and just completely overpowering them. So that's great. Um, I'm going to crazy detail here. It's got the lights there. Um, oh, they're just chilling in the shade. You've got the driver window which comes down, which you can operate here. Um, obviously
see these blinds come up. Um, so yeah, the let's just sit in here for a second. So put this down and I, I pull the steering wheel up and down like this. Maybe let's start it up for a second. So I can show you. There's going to be some beeping, but what the hell. That beeping is showing me the leveling system is down and I cannot move. So, here we got the electronic controls. You can see the air, air pressure is starting to go up. It's too low now, but it will build. Fuel, temperature, all temperature, gas. And then really I've got all my trip settings, messages, brightness, all this kind of stuff. Um, tire pressure monitoring system this may be tedious but this is the kind of stuff that I would want to know when I was looking so that's why I'm showing you uh, windscreen wiper controls here still don't know 100% how to use these things but I kind of get it to a point I don't like them wiping all the time if it's just a little light rain um, but it has a, has a bunch of settings this is a volume control and then here, and I can turn the engine off for this. Okay, I'll just show you this quickly. This is cool. So we got the cameras here, if you can see that. This is a big wide angle of, of the back here. Um, there is a switch. Now my, my switch is actually broken currently. It's one of the things that is not working, but um, camera control, you can see you've got the side view. There's Marnie sitting in the chair, and then you've got the 360. So it, create, it creates this CGI like image of the vehicle and then uses the 360 cameras. Um, yeah, you can just like, okay. I always just leave it on this. What else? Radio, media center, you could probably play movies through this thing. Satellite radio, Bluetooth, HDMI, you kind of got a plug here. Auxiliary, self-explanatory. Um, navigation is actually here. Self-explanatory. Um, pedals, my pedal thing is broken, but it does bring the pedal up and down. Got the visors and the shade. Got a fan here, the fan setting generator start this is cool and I, I sort of I forgot about this but you've got the AC controls but it you know we're in Texas and it, it gets really hot now we're in New Mexico and it's still hot so what I was tending to do is just turn the generator on and just run the generator and obviously it runs the AC it's the only way you can run the AC is you've got to Our be plugged in system or system have the generator have. running so you can run the generator while you're driving Our and just keep the whole thing cool this is cool this is like a lock We'll control that. Open. And closed. Um, air horn. I'm not going to demonstrate that now, but it's actually quite fun to use. Okay. Let's go outside. Still going. Got the stairs, which will come up. That okay. This is gonna be the one of the awnings. It's the second awning. There's a big awning that comes out in the middle and then one at the back. Gas caps on either side. This is really cool storage and absolutely love this. Fridge freezer. This thing can be unplugged, taken anywhere. Um, got your settings, and yeah, let's keep that running. You got tons of extra space. You got cold, cold beers. I don't drink, but if you drink, you got cold beers. You got cold wine, cold anything. Okay, got got a lot of surfboards in here. This whole thing slides out. I'm not going to do it, but it goes all the way through. It's just stuffed at the moment, mainly with surfboards.
I use this plug when I'm working outside. I can, I can uh, have an extension lead. So yeah, this is like a half. This goes half of the way of the width of the coach. Um, again, a lot of extraneous surfing crap in here. This is the vacuum. This is a bunch of stuff that you hope you never have to touch. <laughs> the TV, so. Got the uh, TV here. What I didn't realize is it actually just kind of pulls out. So, pop it out, get it out, and then you can just angle it wherever you want. And this, um, yeah, you can, you've got the TV setting, you can go off the dash radio and you can just play music. You can Bluetooth to this Bose speaker. There's another plug up there. You can play your Spotify on the TV. Whatever you want. Oh, I did that. Yeah, this is like a, it's my little tool area. We got the, uh, the leveling jack here. There's obviously four of those. This, this tire actually turns and assists in turning. This entire wheel will turn and help you turn. That's my technical explanation. Got the DEF tank here, diesel exhaust fluid. You're going to find out what that stuff is because you got the engine back here. I haven't even touched this thing and I hope that nothing ever happens with it and I've been told I'll never have to worry about the engine. You've got the oil point. Anyway, it's, it's a whole thing. I can, I can lift it off, but I'm not going to. Um, this thing is a Blue Ox tow bar. If I can get this off. So this connects to this. I've got here. This is the air hose and the power for the air hose. Which connects in here. So this is the tow braking system. So it will brake in line with the air brakes on the coach. Okay. This is just an extra water filtration system. This is a little valve that you can buy anywhere which shows you the pressure and 60 is pretty good. I've got a double uh, whatever the hell this thing's called so I can fit my uh, water hose on it and I can also fit the, the water for the uh, the RV which is in here myself like this um, yeah so you've got a macerator this is, this is the pump for the gray tank which is the sink water and the shower water and the black tank which is the toilet water so black tank gray this is the manual so you'd actually pull this out and attach you attach a hose to it pull this out and then you'll release the black release the gray and dump it in there now what's cool here is you've got this thing which is a macerator so it's called rv sanicon so you just you'll attach it get it in there open this valve at the back which took me a while to find and then you'll open your black tank turn this on and it has a motor and it will get rid of everything really quickly Oh, it's really hot. Put a hose in to rinse. Put a shower here. That's basically that. Oh my god. My GoPro is getting too hot, so it keeps powering off, so bear with me. Power. Guy, uh, who's an engineer, actually told me to coil everything up outside of the RV oh. because the electrical charge of the wire being wrapped around the spindle will create an electrical charge which could potentially mess up some of the components around it. So, top tip there. This is the heating system. We never have. This is the drawer from the other side. Storage. Batteries. Fuses, bit of storage. It's kind of it, really. Got the generator in here. I hope you enjoyed that little tour, and if you're looking for an RV, I hope it answered questions that we could never find. 
And if we are over this next year, we'll sell it to you.